All right. Hey, everyone. Tiger Mask here again with another video in relation to this holiday season in Final Fantasy XIV. The current holiday we are in is the Starlight Celebration, as you can tell by all the Christmas-esque decorations. Um, there is This is the comprehensive guide to a holiday quest line that does not need a comprehensive guide. So please join in with us as we get started. So... If you notice from the webpage, the start of the quest is right up here. We're in Old Gradania, I believe is how it's pronounced, at the Amphitheater. We talk to Am Garanja, who is a Starlight Celebrator. Now she says, hey, we've got this help from this lady. She's been really, really helpful, but at the same time, she doesn't have anything yet. Go talk to her. So we say, all right, we'll go talk to her. Now she is rocking out in New Gradania over back near the main Aetherite Plaza. So we'll zip back over there. Let's see if I remember where her stall is. Oh, it's right over there. So then you come right over here to our wonderful main lady. My Santa. She says, hey, yeah, no problem. I'm trying to work on the stuff. Uh, but hey, can we talk in private? And you're like, yeah, cool, whatever. So then you go talk in private, which is... Do, 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 do. If I remember correctly, near the Leatherworkers Guild. So you head over to the Leatherworkers Guild. And there will be an interactive spot. You'll see it from here. It's right over there where that person is currently having an interactive spot. Now I could add the cutscene, but that would ruin it for you. Uh, needless to say, you come over here. We'll, we'll go through the motions, but I won't tell you the actual story. Well, I probably will end up telling you the story. You go through here, you click on the spot, you'll see it. She shows up with three dudes. And they're like... We got this awesome Ishtal... No. I can't remember how to pronounce it. They got Ishgardian music. There we go. Uh, but it doesn't work for three dudes. And their music's really pervy. So we need a better way. And then we go, okay. You sing as a lady. The Starlight Celebrant can sing. And one dude. And then we need a baritone, essentially. So they're like, yay! Go pick up some stuff. You go pick up some stuff at the... Woodworkers Guild here and the uh, what are they called? They're in Uldah. Weaver's Guild? No, I don't think it's the Weaver's Guild. We'll visit them all real quick. It's no big deal. Like I said, this is, <laughs> this is a quest guide for a quest chain that does not need a quest guide, so we're just really having fun with it. No big deal. Alright, we need to go over to the Carpenter's Guild. Woodworkers Guild, Carpenter's Guild, whatever. To pick up a baton, a conductor's baton. We poke in here, you go back here, you feel bad for that little Olifel who's been carving this poor structure for years now. You talk to this guy, he says, yep, no problem, here's your stick, I made it really nice. Then you go, cool, thanks, I gotta go to Ulda. Zoom! You slowly zoom across the country. All right, from Ulda, we teleport again. Also, make sure you got all these teleports to the Weaver's Guild. <clears throat> Gotta make sure we go exactly in the right spot. All right, here he is. <laughs> I don't have all this memorized. Not yet, anyway. We hop in the Weaver's Guild. We talk to Redolent Rose over there. What a great guy he is. He makes you the cloaks, blah, 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 blah. And then you're on your way. We go back to the amphitheater. Poof, zam, bow, cow. I really love the Ethernet. Nip. We go back to the young lady. Through this door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you talk to her. She goes, 
where's everything? What are these for? Then everybody walks up. We say, hey, we're going to do singing. And we need this guy. And he's like, okay, I'll sing too. And then you become the conductor of the choir. And at that point, the first quest is done. <laughs> Cute pet. And then you talk to this dude for a reputable quest to collect rewards. The certificates of good cheer. So we'll do that real quick. And I'm bad at it. Back for more. We've plenty. Yeah, I've already done it once. So it's just a quest to constantly keep getting little items. This one is for three. And this one is for two. It, from what I can tell, is the same song. This one's just a little harder to do. So we'll show you the hard version. Because I'm bad at it. Now, uh, a quick introduction on how to do this. It's Osu, if you've ever played that before. Uh, I called it Guitar Hero because I've never played Osu. You're going to tap on blues. You're going to repeatedly tap on yellows. So we'll have it go here. And I won't talk. I promise. Oh. I didn't miss that. And that's the performance. And pretty much, as long as you don't lose your health bar, you you win. You get your little certificates uh, to buy all the items from this season. And after that, you talk to her one more time, and you get this fancy outfit. Don't I look so cute? Hooray, we got it. And now... If you're trying to dig out who to talk to to turn in, they're right over here. So you can get the Silver Starlight Sentinel Tree, untradeable, the Evercold Starlight Snowman, untradeable tabletop, opened Twinkle Boxes, Starlight Donuts, which is untradeable, all untradeable, all tabletop decorations, the Orchestration Scroll, which you should just get. And then some magic prisms for sunshine and stardust. And I wish there was a pet, but there's no pet. <laughs> but you get this really nice outfit, which is really cute. Uh, I kind of prefer this one, to be perfectly honest, which is the dream hat and the dream cloak and the dream boots. Dream tunic. Uh, but that's all. So now you know the Starlight Seasonal Quest Line. All little bit of it. Oh, wait, actually, there's more. I forgot. We'll do that in part two. No, we can do it now, and I'll just edit it in. So after you finish all that, you talk to this girl again, and there's a cutscene. The, the guys that weren't singing were giving out presents, and they ran out of presents. And one girl cried because she said, Oh, no, I've been bad, and that's why I didn't get a present. So then they have you go hunting around for this girl, and you'll talk to NPCs along the way. They'll say, hey, go over there, go over there. It turns out that she is behind this shop area. So you go over here, not there, that's the, the bar. You'll go to the serpents, talk to them. They'll say, oh yeah, I think I saw her over in the acorn orchard because that's where the kids go play all the time. So you go over here to the acorn orchard. And that's where you'll find her crying. You'll talk to her and you will solve the problem. 
I won't tell you what happens, but it's a cute little story and with a cute little ending. So thanks everybody for tuning in and we will see you next time with more Final Fantasy XIV content. Bye!